In this lesson we will able to identify the contributions of Nestor Vicente Madeli Gonzalez and name his contributions to the development of Philippine literature. He was born on September 8, 1915 in Rome Blown, Philippines. Gonzalez, however, was raised in Manzalai, a southern town of the Philippine province of Oriental Mindoro. Gonzalez was a son of a school supervisor and a teacher. As a teenager, he helped his father by delivering meat door-to-door -door across provincial villages and municipalities. Gonzalez was also a musician. He played the violin and even made four guitars by hand. He earned his first peso by playing the violin during a Chinese funeral in Rome Blown. Gonzalez attended Mindoro High School from 1927 to 1930. Gonzalez attended college at National University, Manila, but he was unable to finish his undergraduate degree. While in Manila, Gonzalez wrote for the Philippine Graphic and later edited for the Evening News Magazine and Manila Chronicle. His first published essay appeared in the Philippine Graphic and his first poem in poetry in 1934. Gonzalez made his mark in the Philippine writing community as a member of the Board of Advisors of Lican, the University of the Philippines Creative Writing Center, founding editor of the Diliman Review and as the first president of the Philippine Writers Association. Gonzalez attended creative writing classes under Wallace Stegner and Catherine Ann Porter at Stanford University. In 1950, Gonzalez returned to the Philippines and taught at the University of Santo Tomas, the Philippine Women's University and the University of the Philippines. At UP, Gonzalez was only one of two faculty members accepted to teach in the university without holding a degree. On the basis of his literary publications and distinctions, Gonzalez later taught at the Barbara, California, the University of Washington, the University of California, Los Angeles, and the University of California, Berkeley. On April 14, 1987, the University of the Philippines conferred on NVM Gonzalez the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, for his creative genius in shaping the Philippine short story and novel, and making a new clearing within the English idiom and tradition on which he established an authentic vocabulary for his insightful criticism by which he advanced the literary tradition of the Filipino and enriched the vocation for all writers of the present generation, for his visions and auguries by which he gave the Filipino sense and sensibility a profound and unmistakable script read and reread throughout the international community of letters. NVM Gonzalez was proclaimed National Artist of the Philippines in 1997. He died on November 28, 1999 in Quezon City, Philippines at the age of 84. As a national artist, Gonzalez was honored with a state funeral at the Libingan NGMGA Bayani. Gonzalez is one of the most widely recognized, anthologized and closely studied among Filipino writers. His most notable works include the novels The Wines of April, The Bamboo Dancers and A Season of Grace, short story collections Children of the Ash-Covered Loam and the Bread of Salt and other stories and essay collections work on the mountain and the novel of justice, selected essays. Gonzalez distinctively wrote of the Filipino life, of the Filipino in the world. Gonzalez is himself a Filipino in the world, traversing between the United States and the Philippines and exploring Europe and Asia. The affair of letters Gonzalez created is more than literature. It is the story of a Filipino in the world. It is his story. A Rockefeller Foundation Fellowship, awarded to Gonzalez in 1948, allowed the aspiring author to travel to Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, and Columbia University in New York City. While at Stanford, Gonzalez attended lectures and classes from many prominent writers, Wallace Stegner and Catherine Ann Porter amongst them. Here's Wallace's thoughts about Gonzalez. For the good of my soul lately I have been reading José Rizal and as much as I admire Mr. Rizal's political sentiments, I must say I prefer Gonzalez as a novelist. Wallace Stegner, 